Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. So today is our last day here in Cape May, New Jersey. We're here at the Sun Outdoors Retreat. It's been a great stay here, and we've had a great time here. But today is our last day. That means we have some chores to do so that we can get on the road first thing in the morning. So today we're gonna show you what we normally do the day before we travel so that tomorrow is not as stressful. And we're gonna start off by going to the store to get some last minute groceries and items that we need so we don't have to worry about getting them when we get to our new destination. Hey guys, you know what this is? This is our EBL1000 portable power station. It provides AC, DC, and USB Type-C outputs, and we love this thing. And we're giving one away to one of you guys out there. The contest is still active. If you want a chance to win your very own EBL1000, head over to PaveNewPass.com and get yourself some merch. Anything from our merchandise store gets you to win your very own EBL1000. So I just took Alicia shopping here in New Jersey and introduced her to the fact that New Jersey Walmarts do not have bags. So silly. <laughs> it's like I managed to find two reusable bags in our RV. Just bring the plastic bags back. I mean, I know we're trying to save the earth and all. I'm putting my sunglasses on. But in Texas, we reuse these bags for everything. The plastic bags, they become your garbage bags in the bathrooms. We reuse them for everything like if you take a lunch somewhere you put it in a plastic bag and you reuse it over and over and over again so i don't see what the big problem is i mean for a walmart bag to go in the trash it basically has to have more than one hole in it it's got to be no longer holding the things you want to hold yeah and then whenever it gets too bad to use they even have um little recycle bins at the walmart that you can put your plastic bags into and then they recycle them that way the plastic bags that were in there for sale I feel like this is more plastic than the actual plastic oh, bag. Look, now my plastic bag ripped. Oh. <laughs> we overloaded it. Yeah, so they had some in there for sale, some Walmart plastic bags. Next up on the agenda is we need to wash this truck. So I like to wash the truck the day before we travel. That way it's clean when we arrive at our next destination. It's not terrible right now, but it does need to be washed down. Also, if I wash it today, that makes sure there's a 100% chance of rain tomorrow because every time I wash my truck, it rains. I know some of y'all are going to say you shouldn't wash your truck at these wash bays. Well, when you live full-time on the road, most campgrounds have a no washing vehicle policy. And some of y'all suggest using a bucket here to wash your truck. Well, some of these places have rules too, like this one. You cannot use buckets, sponges, or dry your vehicle in this bay. Do y'all think we're going to get wet inside while daddy washes? I don't think so. Think the water will come inside? No. You don't? Because windows. No. You're going to get us all cleaned up so it can rain tomorrow. Actually, there's no rain in the forecast tomorrow, so let's hope we can keep the truck clean. There he goes. <laughs> Two, I got to go, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's called the pre-wash. Now he's gonna soap us up. Oh, <laughs> he's got a short rope. Short hose. Hey, <laughs> he's getting the roof. Look up, look up, Kayla. Ooh, so dark. And there comes your window, Ash. It's so dark in here. I know. I can't. Look at him doing your window. Scrubby, scrub, scrub. Scrubby, scrub, scrub. The coin operated car washes is something I was never ever good at. Like the rope would be beating me down. By the time I got done, I would be soaking wet and my car would be half washed because I just give up. When I started dating Kevin and he did at home car washes, I loved it because he kept my car clean. I did do the drive through one sometimes, but that also scared me because I'm not a great driver and I was always scared I was gonna run off the track. Having Kevin around keeps your car clean and you don't have to do any of the work. Our car is going to be soapy clean. Soapy clean. Here he comes, Kayla. Hi, Dada. Can't hear you. 
scrubbing it. It's me scrubbing the top. Ah! Now it's really dark. What part do y'all think is next? Water! Water! Time to get the selfies off! I'm having all kind of flashbacks from when I used to have to wash my car. Rinsing it, I was never good at because I didn't understand the concept of start at the top and then work your way down. So like I'd go clean off the front and the hood and everything and then I'd get to this part with the roof and the windows and I'd spray it all back onto the front. So uh, it's been so long since I've been in a drive through car wash that I'm having all these flashbacks of when I used to have to do it myself. Hey, oh, <laughs> I think he was making fun of me. <laughs> what was he doing? What faces was he making? <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> he thinks he's funny. He is kind of funny. Like now I'm all clean up front. Oh, and there he went. Peekaboo! <laughs> How he does oh this without Sorry, getting oh, soaked. I don't understand. So all you do is stand behind the holes. Yeah. Yeah. And don't get wet. I know. I used to try to do it myself before I met Daddy. Yeah. And I would be soaking wet. All done? So, uh, the hose is not long enough I know. on the sprayer or the brush to reach the front or the back of the truck. Oh. I like the wheels. I was trying to get to, the, I can't even get to the wheels on that side <laughs> of the truck. I was telling them how when I used to have to do this before meeting you, I would always end up soaking wet, <laughs> beat up by the hose. Like, it was not a fun time for me. And I'd have to spend about 20 bucks to wash a little Honda Accord. <laughs> oh, you have to move quick. Hey, you do. Next up, the most expensive thing we're gonna spend on today. What's that? Diesel. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something fun. <laughs> it appears as though I'm not allowed to put my own diesel in my truck in New Jersey. So you can't have plastic bags and apparently you can't touch gas pumps. Okay, well, I don't understand why. What's the... I could say why, but it'll offend people. You have to say it off camera? I don't know. It's my first experience ever with this. Okay, so they have always been full service when she was growing up. Uh-huh. Right? They as in New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. Well, Texas, I mean, yeah, all places Texas used to do used that to too. Texas used to do it, yeah. But it was full service for so long that it became a law that you cannot fill your own gas. Gas. Yes. yourself they have to do the gas right they're here 24 7 and they have to do the gas as a diesel owner you can fill your own diesel but she just told me that if she does it the card will run until it's full and i don't have to swipe it four or five times to get it to fill up because they shut you off at 75 dollars. right usually we take three times to fill up because we're empty right now right so with she doing it we get to fill up with one swipe yeah she also said that uh, it provides a level of safety for the person getting the gas. It provides jobs for the state. Like it, it has a whole list of benefits. She did say if we wanted to do our own diesel, we could because there's some safety um, because precautions, diesel, yeah, I guess, yeah. that they... Diesel is not the same as gasoline. Right, but that they would do diesel for you. So she went ahead and filled us up for diesel. I think the price of diesel here is almost Texas price. It's 383. Yeah. And I talked to your dad, and he says it's like three sixty nine or three seventy nine, and so it's not much. Right. It's not expensive over here compared right. to where we're from. And if I don't have to get out of my car to touch all that, I mean, I'll, I'll pay you a dollar extra per gallon to not have to do that. I mean, I don't like doing all that. I was gonna try to do one of those montages where it's like, and I was like, I don't know how to do it if she's here. Can you hold this camera and fill up, please? <laughs> All right, we made it back to the RV park, and there's these guys working here, and they are doing a very crappy job. Speaking of crappy jobs, we also have to do our own crappy job. We need to dump and flush the black tanks, and start getting everything picked up around the RV. We need to wipe the truck down, give it a good vacuum, and get everything ready to go tonight so that first thing in the morning we can get on the road. The crappy job is done. We're just finishing up. I have to go inside and treat the tanks. I'm actually gonna try some Ajax this time instead of Dawn, mostly because it's cheaper. Borax, Zep, take care of all the tanks. We did wipe the truck down. The truck looks pretty amazing, but I did see that it's in time for some paint correction because I can see the swirls. So soon we're gonna do some paint correction. 
you can see that nothing is actually put up that's because the girls want to go playground and i actually want to go fishing one more time yeah 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 playground. oh yeah you want to go playground playground do you want to go fishing Daddy. playground fish playground fish Daddy. okay i'll fix it the girls want to go playground i want to go fishing and we can't put any of the front stuff up until the fishing stuff is up we can't put any of the side stuff up until we're back from the playground and the bikes get put up so we're going to the playground we're going fishing and we'll see you guys first thing in the morning well good morning guys and welcome to move day beautiful weather today here in cape may new jersey good news the truck managed to survive the entire night without getting rain and that's saying something because every time i watch this truck it rains within 12 hours but i will say the pollen here in new jersey is something else i used to think the pollen in texas was bad but whatever these trees are it's pretty bad too i think they're oak trees but i could be wrong because they're different than the oak trees we have in texas they're definitely hardwoods and they definitely have a lot of pollen on them so today we're leaving cape may new jersey should be a very relaxing drive we're going 180 miles to the northwest corner of new jersey i believe it's called anover new jersey to a campground called panther lake and it looks like it's gonna be very similar to this one but bigger so this is a smaller resort with a small lake we're going to a big resort it's 160 acres and it's got a 45 acre lake so i'm pretty excited and our neighbor that was here a few days ago was telling us that northwest new jersey is very beautiful he goes it's very much like this but this is more beach he goes that's more uh wilderness and mountains so we'll see he also told me that i get to see a change in new jersey today as well he goes right now you're in south jersey he goes this is very much farmland and nothing out here he goes today you're gonna go to the city you're gonna see industrial city things on the way there and then you'll gradually leave it and get to where you're going to camp the reason we're going to this next place is because it's only 50 miles from new york city and we want to go see new york city but we don't want to take this stuff right here anywhere near the city after we leave next week we kind of get away from any major metropolitan areas for a few weeks until we get close to boston again looking forward to a beautiful day should be a pretty pleasant drive we have a few back roads here getting back to the highway and then it's the new jersey turnpike almost all the way to new york city and then we leave back roads again until we get to the park ready to go i'm ready you know i wish forward would make a button that said hey you're gonna tow i can hit one button and everything and go back to tow mode that would be very convenient it really should just save everything it does like, but it doesn't save like the uh the exhaust brake and the tow and the mirrors yeah you still have to make them go out forward think about it <laughs> just make my life just a little like i wish as soon as i locked the kingpin and be like oh he's towing today uh, Woof. should be easy out okay we have to navigate one turn that's almost a u-turn because we're going out the entrance instead of the exit because they don't trim their trees very well and it's straight out the door and we get to navigate new jersey again again it seems easy <laughs> but but they it, do things just slightly different it here. always seems easy so this is our u-turn yeah right here Ugh. it's not a big u-turn but look out we're gonna have to avoid these little uh junipers or whatever you call these trees <laughs> right here because we can do that or we can deal with trees and another really awkward turn to go out the way they want you to right there's a reason the bigger rigs are on that end because they get the easier way out yeah i mean i loved our spot though i did too girls kaden y'all ready for a train horn yeah are you ready for a train horn i already know the answer yeah i'm ready for it you are here it goes girls here we go <laughs> so uh the train horn's down right now what happened the compressor is not working right so the train horn actually works it has no air though it's a problem that's been going for a while like the last month or so uh-huh slowly it's been getting worse and i just figured i'd let it run until it finally stopped working and that was this morning oh okay so it's been taking longer and longer and longer to fill the tank up yeah like filling up uh tires took forever and finally this morning it just gets to like 30 psi and just stops making any more pressure new compressor for father's day <laughs> <laughs> new compressor for next week 
because uh, we don't really want to be towing without being able to put air in the airbags. It's like right now we we have 30, 35 psi in the airbags, and we really need like 65. Uh -huh. So and you can feel it. We're we're touching overloads right now. Yeah. But it is what it is. Now we have a project at the next place. New Jersey, you've got to do better with your roads. We're going 36. It's like the expansion joints on this baby road are just beating us to death. I feel like we're in Louisiana. <laughs> Come on now, how hard is it just to fix a road? It shouldn't be this. This is not even the main highway yet. This is just the road to get out here. This reminds me of Oklahoma roads. <laughs> Except for then, see, you're, you're like, we're going 35. <laughs> we're, the speed limit's 45, and I don't think we can do that because we'll tear it apart. <laughs> you can do better, New Jersey. Oh, this is the New Jersey Turnpike. We've got three lanes over here for trucks and buses. Yeah. And then we got those lanes over there for cars. It's like having your own private big rig lane. There's so many lanes. <laughs> and it goes through the whole state. It's amazing. It's like 12 lanes of traffic right here. You know, I don't mind paying a tollway if the road feels like this. I know, right? This is, this is how you should do it. If, you're, if I'm gonna pay a toll, make it smooth as butter all the way. Not yeah. those other roads we had to drive on to get here. And it's so nice not having all the other little cars dodging in and in between all of us. Yeah. Driving through New Jersey is interesting because the cars do not help you out. <laughs> Everybody has to get in front of you or beside you and they'll, and they'll do whatever they need to do to get in front of you. Right. And have it, the whole northeast is that way i'm sorry to say it <laughs> so far so far the whole northeast <laughs> has been a challenge because the, the cars will not help you out they just want to get in front of you they'll be on the shoulder to get around you <laughs> and in texas it's the opposite cars yes. will literally come to a stop to let you go in because they want to well, avoid most people, accidents. Most people in Texas have pulled a trailer in their life. Right. So when they see you trying to do something, they'll help you out. They, yeah, they, they give you the right of way. They don't take the right of way. Welcome to the first rest area on the New Jersey Turnpike. The New Jersey Turnpike is pretty cool. It's complicated to figure it out, especially in your first time is with this trailer. But once you get on it, it's pretty awesome. Break time's over. I'm doing my walk arounds, making sure everything is still good to go because these roads are oh so smooth. Everything looks good. We got about 75 more miles, a little over an hour, almost an hour and a half till we get to the campground. You feel that? You feel that beautiful New Jersey bridge? <laughs> you know, the roads are okay. It's the bridges they need to work on. Like, why can't you make it's the bridge the and the road the yeah. same height? I shouldn't fall in a hole getting on and fall in a hole getting off. It's not good. We could also use a little more airbag pressure. That would probably help a little bit. <laughs> but overall, the truck's towing pretty good, even with these terrible roads. Yeah. Another thing I don't understand, there's so many cars. There like, is. We're nowhere near it. Like, look, it's like there's no city. Like, like, we're in the trees. I know there's houses over there. Right. Over here is some sort of baseball park. Like a little bit. But there's not a city. So right. why is there so many cars? It doesn't make sense. Like I just looked and I'm like, it's Tuesday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And like, we're like 50 miles from New York City. And, so I don't know if this is how people come around. Those pe that lane over there, the people going outbound. They've got way more traffic than us, but we've got a ton on our side. This is Highway 287, and we're heading away from New York City. We're cutting over to where our park is. I just don't understand why there's so many cars, because in Texas, this is Houston. This is Dallas. Like, right. But there's that's not around us. It, it feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, look at them. They're just backed up as far as you can see. So it makes no sense. What are maybe, we missing? Maybe the cities are a little off the highway here, but... Yeah, maybe it's been so feel. congested ever since basically the like the last 10 miles of the New Jersey Turnpike and then ever since we got off it's been right non-stop traffic definitely missing the turnpike where the trucks are separated from the cars I'm definitely because missing. this is a lot I'm glad you're driving what a day to not have a train horn <laughs> right I'm kind of glad we don't have a train horn because I feel like we'd be using it often because so. Oh, these drivers, they're a lot. And for those of y'all that get offended when I say I use a train horn, 
some of these people need it because they're about to get run over. Yeah. Not us. We Trucks are doing it yeah, too. Yeah, it's never used like in a rage type way, like, oh, they cut me off. It's used in a, hey, you're about to merge no, into me. No, it's used and they're sitting right there next right. to the mirror they're, and it's like, they don't see that I'm right next to them. They're right here and they're trying to get up here, but there's no more road left. So it's like, hey, I'm just making you aware that you're running on a road over there. So yeah, I'm definitely missing that turnpike. Look at this lake over here. It's Panther Lake. Now that guy, the neighbor was not lying when he said when we got up here, it'd be completely different than South Jersey. This is so different. The last 20 miles went from all that traffic to, there's, there's we saw rocks, it's mountains. We're from Texas. <laughs> hey, it's mountains. It's a mountain. The truck had to uh, turn the extra fan on. Mountains. Yeah, it was working. Ashlyn, do you see what's up here? Oh what? man, they don't have a playground either. They do have a playground. <laughs> oh man, look at these swings. Whoa, look at this slide. Oh, we're gonna try that again. I didn't go far enough forward. Don't you love the noises that these trailers make whenever you start turning I, them? I do not like hearing the noises. I prefer windows up. All the popping and creaking. Well, they don't like going 90 degrees. <laughs> all that is a little much. I got it too close now. Now I'm like too close to that tree. I was trying to just be close to it, but now I'm like about to run into it. You know how I like to give the most room? Yes, to our front. Well, I I got, I got too close. I never had the problem getting it too close. Not on the first try. No. Well, we gotta go take a look. Okay. So he's gonna move us over a little bit, about a foot or two, because we've got all this going on down here. And then I'm just gonna make sure he doesn't hit this pole, because he's not gonna be able to see it once he starts. So here we go. We're not straight at all. <laughs> well, let's go check this side. I don't think it may matter. We've got so much. Like, this side looks straight. All right, so what you gotta do to fix this is you have to let so me- So tell me what the problem is. Well, the problem is I'm, I'm coming in crooked, so I can't ever get the trailer straight. Okay. Because every time I try to get it right, my truck ends up in there, right. flower beds. Right. So right now, I need you to tell me not to hit that but I gotta get the truck straighter. Before. Otherwise, if I pull forward in the same angle, I'm gonna put it right back in the same right. spot every time. Okay. okay, I'm just watching the pole for him. Close enough for me. He'd have probably went another two feet. <laughs> All right, he's just getting the truck straight while he comes back. We finally got everything set up. It only took me like four attempts to get this trailer in here. It was in there the first time, but it wasn't straight. Every time I kept being at an angle like this. And that's because I was trying to use that side right there to back in. But I could never cut my truck in time without running over that flower bed when being able to see Alicia back there. So every time I got the trailer straight, the truck was always crooked still. And I couldn't pull forward far enough because of that to have a straight back in. I managed to wiggle it over enough to clear the pedestal and everything back here and the tree branch. So another site where everything is at the rear of the trailer. So 25 feet of sewer tubes. We have our 25 foot water, our five foot jumper and another five foot jumper. And we have the power cord right here. And I had to miss that branch as well. And they decided to put this pole back here on the back. So we couldn't hit that. Couldn't go forward 
any more than we needed to. So we just had to kind of wiggle it until we got it straight in the side. It was in the side the first try, but I like to be straight and we were more kind of like that right there. Alicia said it was fine. It was fine on our side, but it wasn't very fine on this side, which was kind of in our neighbor's yard. Look at these rolls. Look at this font. <laughs> Compared to normal font. <laughs> the girls said I needed a magnifying glass and they're not wrong. <laughs> it's a lot. We were literally almost in the same spot we are now the first try, except for I just came straight over. We're no straighter. I just <laughs> slid it over. Like the first time I was dead on the sewer. Yeah. Now the sewer is like two feet away, but the angle is literally the same angle. <laughs> It just okay in the mirror. It looks like you're so bad and so much in their spot That's why I've kept telling you but You were convinced. No, you can always okay So once you unhook if I know it's crooked I will never be able to walk by without being like god that guy can't even back straight up. It's his OCD He cannot handle a trailer his own trailer being crooked anybody else's he doesn't care but his own It's got to be like on the line straight i mean if you're gonna back it in back it in right look our front yard actually looks pretty straight which is exactly how it looked the first time hey. but over there it looks crooked do you, you want to cue the footage where i told you this looks fine it's straight because <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's on film too <laughs> it wasn't straight it was very crooked look at this this is panther lake this is the boat dock you can rent all these they even have these giant water tricycles there's a swimming area at the beach. There's a fishing deck. We're gonna let the girls play at the playground and get settled in for the night. Catch you guys on the next one.